I would like to read to you 1 Peter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Notice the wording royal priesthood, holy nation, God's own people. These are, these are forms of address that was given to God's special people in the Hebrew Bible, the Jews. Some of these special terms are now used of Christians. They, are, they have the task of representing God in the world. And then Peter says something significant. He says it's so you were called out of darkness into light. In the ancient world, they did have lights, but it was like candles. In fact, not as good as modern candles, flickering oil lamps. And so when darkness fell, you were reliant on the moon when it was there, on flickering firelight, and the darkness was intense. It was lovely to see skies, stars on a, on a bright night, but, but to move from darkness into the full light of daylight is, is a wonderful experience, something very moving. And this is how Peter describes what it's like to move from being a non-Christian to being a Christian. Because Christians have hope. Christians have a future. Christians can look forward to the fact that they will share a resurrection just as Jesus was resurrected. So Peter sums it up by saying, it's as though you were in darkness and now you have moved into light.